if we had actual mana and I could combat trick while having actual mana. This feels like it should be fine. It's a 40 card deck, bro. Gorby. 40 in the draft. Actually drawing cards that we can cast, that's nice. Tricolor over there. Can't be blocked by dinosaurs, sure. Yeah, I'm sure I'll draw all mana and just lose two games in a row to distribution of mana here. I was looking for. It's actually a great pickup. It's buffing all this stuff all, all on one guy versus blue is a little bit sketchy, but I can't buff the other guy as no vampire, so. I think I'm just gonna face tank all of it too. See what shows up. So you should definitely attack with that. Still use that second swamp. Does it do? Nothing, right? It's already got its plus one, plus one. Okay. Yeah, I guess he could be worried about me joint blocking that. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Rage, rage plug pull, disconnect, deep thought. He's figuring it out, I believe. All right. Nothing? All right. Sounds good for me. It's got a instant of some sort. 
or the game's lagging one or the other. Or he's bluffing, I suppose. Doesn't want to block that. Sure. All right, so the backup plan is this. If he has some way to remove that, I still have my buff available. I don't have the divine verdict, but I've got 35 buffer health to deal with. So if he um, kills this in some way, I still want to be able to try to push past by flooding. So let's leave that option on the board just in case when he's this low, we have the chance to do that. It's definitely scary. I think I've got enough health to deal with it, though. Okay. We had two ways to deal with that. Even if he blocked, we could moment of triumph it. But we just drew our second mana, so now we can uh, tell that guy to fuck right off. All right, GG. We have one loss, though, from drawing two planes only, ever. That was pretty good. Curve, creatures, buffs, etc. Didn't get a lot of the other flyers, which was too bad, but... Consistent damage off that guy from turn one, turn two was nice. All right, two mana, something to play on two, something to play on three. All right, a little bit awkward to have a double black mana cost card again with only one swamp, but it's not bad. Don't love this guy coming out first, but I can just refuse to trade with him. That's either the sneakiest play ever, or it means he doesn't have something to deal with this. Do I want to give him two mana this early? Am I in a rush? I guess I am kind of in a rush. I think when he played nothing that last turn, I think if he was if he had a combat trick, he was he would have played it. So he has a dinosaur, I think he would have dual blocked that. I need a swamp. Okay. There's 
666 Trampler. Great right about now if I had another mana. Just gonna put that out there. It's a bit of a toss up there between uh, leaving one mana or not, but I don't really want to advertise it. And I would like to develop that and not develop this guy till I have a vampire target, so. Alright, it's 9-9, nine, nine, no trample. That's fine, I guess. Still need my fourth mana, preferably black. There's a slight advantage to killing this. Little fuck, it's gotta reach, okay. Oh, apparently he was sitting on two more things. Am I killing your guy or am I killing you? You? Okay. Let's hope he makes that mistake next turn too. Alright, we'll block the 9-9. Nine, nine. Block the 2. It's got to be a combat trick, right? But I think I'd rather it get wasted here than anywhere else. So if it is, let's roll with that. Fine. That's what I was hoping for. He's just dead, right? You just impale his blocker and then kill him with this with the buff. Great. A little bit slow on the mana situation again. All right. Let's see what's next. I did block with the Everdon to minimize trample damage. Uranium spoon. I did that the first attack. I had him buffed with the uh, 
the thing that made him a 3-3, and then I absorbed three of the six trample damage. But the 9-9 guy doesn't have trample, so we got nicely countered by the 2-2. Alright, this hand is a pile of shit. Like, it has all the things I want, but it has no white mana in it. Somehow, again, look at this. This is such a good combo, too. You think I'll just draw two white mana? Because I don't. I think I have to throw out that beautiful hand. Which has two of my 2-3 flyers and a guy to buff them. Oh, man. Could I just have regular mana distribution with a 17 mana deck? Is that possible? Thank you for that, at least. Is there a reason why I don't use Deckmaster? Because uh, I've never heard of it. I could certainly look up into that. This is the first time I've ever streamed this game. Hey, mana. Feels real good. It's not enough, though. See, why would it do this automatically? This gives me life. I'd like to use it to untap the Paladin. I think I'm going to wait. Many of these. Oh, he's got three of them. Wow, okay. That's unfortunate. Alright. for that but I need some tempo I don't want that guy back this is four above okay it's the first time playing this game first time on stream played a little bit on vacation at a couple of the locations on a laptop it's fairly frustrating playing this on a laptop by the way it's unfortunate I'm going to block the 3-3 three, three with the 3-1, three, but I'm not willing to do it the other way around. Okay, that's a nice draw. Mana. But you get a lot of extra cards out of that. It's a lot of stuff to throw at me. Any combat tricks for a white-black deck. There's like a 100% chance there's a combat trick in there somewhere, like a removal. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're pretty screwed here. Actually, it makes more sense to block that guy. Just in case he has some way to resummon it, I guess. They're both vampires, right? Don't want to block with that guy. Leaving him on the board prevents those guys from attacking. It's desperate. Kind of gives him vigilance. But any more removal. I got nothing else, so we're going to do it. And it's another deterrent to the three threes. All right. 
No more removal, please. <laughs> okay, sure. No, don't look at- No! Fuck off. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did it wrong. I didn't think about the graveyard as a resource. So we're racing and he starts with 10 next turn. Ah, I think this is a loss. It's literally, okay, sure. I still don't know what those next two cards are. It feels like he just came out so far ahead with that. So, Three of these guys, two of which came from that. One is my mulligan. I was hoping you put it on that guy. That means I can kill it next turn. So what else? We haven't traded down at all. He's one for one dust on the removal. Haven't, haven't lost any trades, rather. So what are we losing so much value on? Just the fact we don't have anything that generates value and it's one off the mulligan and two off those? This is hurting us a little bit. Ah, definitely a loss. No board clears. Nothing comes out that saves us. Probably a combat tricky drew, but it could be mana. Doesn't work. He should just attack with one more guy and killed me. Like, why didn't he do that? So worried about losing a guy. Alright, don't know why we lost that one at all. I don't really feel like I made a lot of mistakes playing that, so it must be mistakes in drafting it. Those two removal on a buffed creature kind of sucked. Quite a bit, in fact. But, oh well. Tears. Two and two. Let's see if we can win a couple more, it'd be really nice. Uh, I guess we could quickly check. Oops, too late. I was gonna say we could quickly check our side our sideboard and see if there's anything in there we care about, but four lands. Yeah, that looks good. So I said the mulligan is so expensive to do that, like so dangerously expensive. I mean, we're just one or two cards behind him. We never are total behind him in value and just can't keep up. Everything exchanges. What you doing, buddy? A little faster. Keeping two landers is often worse, though. I don't know, man. 
We just lost that game. Nothing to do with land and everything to do with total number of cards. Maybe it's different in, uh, in the constructed play. Have I played this guy already? First game I lost? Uh. But if I... Yeah, I lose if I don't draw mana, but I can draw mana again. I can never make up the card deficit, right? Like, I can get lucky and draw more mana, but I can't get lucky and draw more cards because you only draw one per turn. What do you think? Full of combat tricks? Yep. Okay. That's fine. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, I want the buff value. No, last game was a pure value game. So you're, uh, there's a viewer in chat for just for posterity saying, uh, you know, always better to have the one than the other. I'm not so sure. Why can't I block that? Oh, it can't be blocked two or less. Okay. Is he not summoning another creature? Because that's a really questionable attack if you're going to summon another creature. Don't you want to live? Yeah, it seems silly. I have nine damage right now. I don't think one damage here is relevant. I think having a second flyer might be. Because then if he'll be at 2 health, and then I can Pious Interdiction that guy, even if he gets another blocker out. So, I could buff with uh, the Cleric, but I don't think so. And I just summoned before attacking, which is wrong. Should have waited until after. Alright. Fine, you can have a card. I'm not giving you my bird though. Oh, I can't give you the bird anyways, can't block. Okay. He needs to generate magically two airborne blockers. He's got zero right now. That's not gonna do it. Is there anything that gives him like one health on that mana? I don't think so. That's already tapped. I'm actually going to attack with all four here. straightforward but again he was two and two so he probably spent his entire game getting nothing either his first two games were probably zero mana black white seems strong in this format to me 
had good success with another deck, Black White, too. I've only played a couple of them. Green seemed a little lackluster. But I have no late game victory conditions at all here. Not that there aren't some in Black White, it's just I didn't get any. What do we have? This looks really bad. Two mana, no creatures. Impale, which I can't use. Five drop, four drop. Four drop. Two of my removal in here. If I draw a white mana, this is fine. I don't really want to mulligan again. Fuck. Alright, two draws to get it. Don't do this to me, game. Game, stop with this nonsense. It's acting like I need more mana, but the last thing I actually need is more fucking mana. I just need to actually draw my mana. What's this thing do? The draft, yes. My opponents don't seem to be struggling with mana. Can't block that, right? Right. <laughs> We're so fucked. All right. Actually, I should have not attacked. Should have used him as a blocker for that. It's gonna die anyways. Yeah, it's a problem. I don't have the health to deal with this shit. Dead next turn. Can this do damage to face? So I just feed that and hope. I think I do. That's what I needed. I just needed that in the opening hand. Um, One more round. So when that attacks, let's think about this round. So I'm gonna take this, uh, actually I could block that one. All right. I think we're dead here regardless, but we'll see. So 
have been really nice if he didn't have a card on every single fucking turn. Combat trick here? Yes, he does. That sucks. Sucks a lot. That's game. Should have blocked the other way around, too. One more mana here for a buff. Uh, can I survive if I lifesteal through this? Depends how they assign damage, I guess. guess it really depends where the life is uh, done. No, that draw will definitely that, that that draw will finish it off. I think. Oh, I am curious which order now the damage goes. So it heals me before that. Okay. I don't know, guys. Losing two of my three games off of mana issues seems really painful. Seventeen is what it, we're supposed to be running, right, for mana? Because that was pretty brutal. Although it does work out perfectly for one more draft. Oops. 